Ashton United TV here, and we're joined by the gaffer Jody Bannim, and we've just drawn one all with Colin at home. Jody, what's your thoughts on the game? Um, I'm relatively pleased, to be honest with you. I think um, from to the ABA game to where we are now, um, I think we're progressing nicely. I think first 20 minutes, I think they were picking up little pockets of space in behind our midfield, and were causing us some issues. Um, I think we um, combated that well. Um, a bit more organisation, a bit of communication. From that point on, I think we've dominated possession. Um, played some really nice stuff, like, like we did on Tuesday night against Stockport. Uh, I think we've continued in that vein. Uh, we just need to to find an end product at this moment in time. Um, build up play to that final third has been great. But a little bit of end, end product in there is, is what's needed now. Uh, another 90 minutes in the bank for all the players. Are you happy with the squad? How they're gelling? And yeah, yeah. I, listen, the only concern I've got right now is his goals. Uh, where we're going to get goals from. Um, Matty Chadwick's been taken off again through a, a nasty, it was a, I thought it was a nasty tackle and he's, looks like he's got, he's got a bad knock on his ankle, uh, it's quite swollen. Ryan Crowder's gone for a scan uh, on his knee but I think we're looking at a long term injury there as well so we've taken probably 60 goals out of the team from last season yeah. um, so we need to go and replace that now unfortunately. I was going um, to say I don't need to ask you where um, you were looking for in the transfer market then obviously. Yeah we need to, we need to bring one maybe two forwards in. Um, Chaddy's not going to be fit for the start of the season now. He's, this is his first start today. We need to get him some games. Even if he's out for a couple of weeks, he's going to need he's going to need some more games to get himself up to scratch. Um, so we need we need two forwards now. We potentially might have to go and get a loan player yeah. uh, for maybe the first month of the season. Um, so I'll have a look at that over the weekend now. But it's a it's an issue uh, at this moment in time because I think our approach play and build up play has been superb. Yeah. Nicky Platt did for his first start today. Did really well when he came on. Um, but Liam Thompson did well as well, Lamry's done well, um, some really good performances I'm really quite pleased um, with today. Listen, it's not about results, yeah. it's about performances and I think we're going in the right direction. Speaking of uh, forwards, you seem to love pre-season, you're like a little kid when you get out of there. Are we <laughs> I gonna... still should be, there's not many games at my age. Um, <laughs> you're seen... going to have to play about 30 this season, <laughs> now we've got no forwards. Well this is the issue right now, We've obviously um, I, need to, I need to keep myself half right in case I'm yeah. needed. Um, we're down to the bare bones, striker-wise. You seem to really enjoy it out there. I do. Listen, I'm obviously I'm 39, 40 in April, so. Whoa, whoa, uh, 21. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> so I think uh, my 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 days are behind me. Obviously, if I can supplement what we've got, um, if I'm not if I'm not needed, then I'm happy to be honest with you. Uh, but this moment in time, obviously, to get us through pre-season stuff, it might be might be handy for me just to keep my hand in. On to the next game against FC. That's going to be a big game. Yeah. League above going to bring a big crowd what are your thoughts for yeah, that game listen it, we, we, obviously we picked we picked specific games on um, purposely obviously to give us a test throughout pre-season and build our build ourselves up for the start of the season and this is another it's another good test for us I thought Cone today was was a, was a great test day in the playoffs of Lee below last year mm. we've signed some really good players um, stepped in as well yeah stepped in at the last minute and I think um, I think they'll have a good season next year um, I think Cunny's done a really good job in, in bringing um, players uh, in in the summer that supplemented what he had last year, so I think they'll do all right next year. And well. um, we've just announced new signings in David Carnell and Aaron Chalmers. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the two new players? Uh, massive signings for us. I think Dave's. I think Dave's the best keeper in non-league in the northwest, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And I think we've done, as a football club, we've done really well uh, to get him on board. Um, he believes in what we're trying to do here. Um, he came in training, um, did one training session with us, and called me afterwards and said he really enjoyed it. He just felt right. Um, so that's a great signing. Um, the way we want to play out from the back, Aaron Chalmers is, is perfect um, for our formation at this moment in time. Technically, he's one of the he's one of the best footballers I've seen at this level, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, he's reading of the game is excellent. Um, he's good in the air for, for the size of him as well, uh, and his distribution is he's great from the back. Him and Tom Eckersley are both a real yeah. plus for us. Defensively, we look sound. Uh, which yeah. was the issue for us last year? Which yeah, is, I was, was um, going to say that we look like we've got a big defence. Yeah, we look like we're we look like we're going to keep clean sheets, which is, which is good. Um, <laughs> the issue is obviously scoring goals now. Uh, now Ryan and Chaddy are missing, um, who were superb for us last year and they were a real threat. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time, no and we're looking forward to the game against FC. Oh, it's been Jody Banning. No problem.